Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to scrap a DVD, actually a CD and a tape player slash radio for what's inside. So yeah, there's no disc inside and you flip it over and the secondary battery source is empty. There's no uh, batteries in it. For some reason there were some alkaline batteries, some kiddo must have gotten in there and just put random batteries in there to see if it would work. So whenever you're working with plastic items, plastic can break off sharply, so it's a good idea to don on some gloves. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is remove all of the covering. There may be hidden screws underneath. Nothing in there. Looks like there's no kind of board in here. Like there's no kind of screws. Looks like it's just all put together. And on the back, nothing. Huh. They must all be put together by hands. Let me see. Move that piece of plastic. Oh, silly me. There's screws on each side. Use some brute force. Wow, <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. At least the screws are now easy access. That's a good thing, I guess. That's hilarious. It literally knocked off the head of my hammer. That's pretty funny. Yeah, it's a pretty old hammer anyway. Need to get anyway. This is where it gets a bit complicated. Is that board slide right out? No. So 
So the first thing you want to do once you get it opened either forcefully or regularly is to remove the speakers. These speakers can go in as number two copper, I guess. Yeah, they can go in as copper motors because they have a wound of copper in them. Looks like a piece of steel. Speaker covers are steel. Yeah, there's another one. Hmm. So there you go, that can go through your number two copper. Or take it apart and get off the little voice coil which has copper in it. It's actually made of copper. There you go. A little bit of wire. So the tape mechanism is pretty much all still with a little bit of copper wire in it. Or not copper, but copper motors. Um, see, there's really not that much in it. Oftentimes, just leave it as is. But you can take it apart if you want. That's what I'll do right now. All right, so. There's a little piece of wire there. I've already removed this small little motor. There we go. And the rest of this is steel. Now for the rest of this. There's nothing much in here except a small little circuit board. There's a wasp or something flying around. Around the garage door. It's really unnerving. There we go. Just a low grade board. And that's on the back I could see salvaging. Maybe a little double digit display, but that's real easy to get. A little red LED and some buttons. Low grade. The rest of this is plastic. That's another big piece here. So. This is going to bring some problems. You know, I can't stick my. Screwdriver in there. Try a different screwdriver. Yeah, it won't work. So I think the best way to go on this is there's a small little screw.
I'll try to break this part. All right, there you go. So I got a little great board here. This is the main board. There's a lot of different things on here. Um, there's chips. Um, there's a little piece of aluminum. And a couple various little small pieces. Nothing spectacular. A little bit of copper on that little antenna. And a couple chips and stuff. Now, also there's a lot of wire. I'm basically now going to move this tiny little board here. We'll see what this is. It probably goes to some kind of switch or some kind of display. Judging by the size and relatively few amounts of things on here. Yeah, it's a little potentiometer. Useful. A little wire too. And now we're getting to the end of this. Looks like two screws. Come on. Okay, there we go. These screws are so frustrating. Okay, there we go. There we go. Boom. Two screws there. Put them right there. Just a second. Alright, sorry about that, I had to stop the tape because there is a big yellow jacket. I hate those things, I'm allergic to them. So I had to stop it and try to get away from it. So now it looks like it's retreated to outside of the garage, so I'm fine. But anyway, so I finished it off camera. Just got a whole bunch of steel, two little motors, a whole bunch of wire. And the main piece here, which would have the laser inside, which you know it's there if you see three little um, solder joints. There's three um, parts of that, um, basically that diode. Um, I believe one of them is positive, one of them is negative, and one of them is ground, I'm not too sure. I don't think it's a transistor, so I don't think it will have the base collector and emitter. I'm not too sure though. But anyway, and the rest of that was plastic. So in turn, there was a lot of small pieces of wire, a lot of screws, and a few motors, and one of the great boards. So in sense, I would scrap it, but only if you have some spare time on your hands, because it's a lot of work for a little stuff inside. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you found that video interesting and useful. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.